welcome back to another show training video. Today we're going to talk about some bolt-in hardware, specifically the B40 for the 3 inch belts and the B63 for the 2 inch belts. It's very common to find these in NASCAR and Formula applications where there's not a secondary adjuster further up the belt. So right now I'll take you how to wrap them. Uh, they're both the exact same wrap so we can just do this with a 2 inch. What we do is first initially we come up through the bottom and then down through the top. And we come through that same existing hole the first time to complete the circle come through and then as you can see we'll come through the middle bar to start the figure eight pull that through and then again we come up through that last bar to complete the figure eight and again as you can see the webbing comes through here and then we're going to come down through the top of it again to complete the wrap so at this point pull through you want to have about three to four inches worth of extra material coming out the bottom after you're done pulling it tight and then your wrap is complete. So in order to adjust this, what we do is we take two marks. We take one on the top of the belt, right by the adjuster, as you can see right there, and then another one on the actual bottom of the belt, the strap that comes through, to provide another reference mark. We usually use chalk for these, because it just it's easy to take off. So at this point, say you want to take about one to two inches out of the upper length of the belt, what we'll do is we'll loosen up the wrap, and you'll start working the amount of webbing that you need through. This may take a couple times to get the desired amount of change, so it just requires a little bit of patience, but sometimes it comes right off the bat the first time. So as you can see, now our lower mark has now moved approximately two inches from basically that bar of the adjuster where we made the mark. And if you look for that second mark that we made, it's actually moved from here all the way back through and on the back of the hardware now. So that pretty much completes the adjustment process. Now, in order to install these, this hardware is good for about 8,000 pounds of a pull in a vertical direction. So to install them correctly, we use pivot sleeves. And we have ones available that will take this half-inch hole down all the way to a 516 hardware, which is right here, also known as an M8 bolt. And then we also have the 3 8 and the M10 bolt. And then our most popular hardware is the 716. So we use that for a demonstration. So basically, as you mount these, um, you can't go to the floor because it's a hardened steel and its low capacity will turn to about half. So say we want to mount for an outboard mount going outside the seat. So what we'll do is we'll take our pivot sleeve, we put it on the back side of the B63, and we come through with a bolt and washer from the inboard point. Come through, and once it's tightened, you can see that it'll keep the hardware in a vertical plane and pull in the proper direction of the 60 to 80 degree angle that we need for the lap belts. If you want, basically for uh, an inboard mount, all you have to do is you just switch the pivot sleeve to the inboard side and then run your bolt through the other way. So this completes today's video. Thank you. We'll see you at the track.